Hey everybody, my name is Steven Bennett and I'm going to show you a fix for the delay compensation issue for cinematic studio strings in Cubase using the logical editor. I've got a track open with cinematic studio strings violin one with the sustain patch loaded to advanced legato. Now I'm going to record a little melody in. Okay, so the next step is everything needs to be hard quantized to the grid. So I'm going to go through real quick and do so. All right, and after this, I'm going to adjust the velocities to make sure that the playing matches what I want the legatos to sound like. So fast notes get the fast legato and some, you know, slow here and there. Now I'm going to select everything and hit the macro I have set up. You see it adjusts everything over a specific amount, and this last bit is just part of how the macro works. So let's give it a listen. Okay, so now let's take a look and see how I did that. First, we're going to open the logical editor so that we can make some music presets in order to build our macro. We need to make four in order for this to work, one for long, medium, and fast legatos, as well as an extra one to deal with an issue where the patch doesn't recognize a legato transition for some reason, and instead plays the initial starting sample by accident. So we're essentially telling Logical Editor to take a note that we've selected and if the velocity is between 0 and 64 to subtract the position by 333 milliseconds, which is what the manual says is the delay from the sample start to its initial peak. Make sure to switch this to seconds from PPQ, which is for pulses per quarter note. Uh, that won't be helpful in this situation. We have to have the milliseconds. We're going to save this preset as something we can find later. So CSS legato offset long. We are now going to make the other two we need for the legato transition. So the next one we're going to do is medium, which the velocity is between 65 and 100, and it needs to be delayed by 250 milliseconds. Then we're going to uh, save this one the same way and name it something else, CSS Legato Offset Medium. And the last one we're going to create is for the Fast Legatos, which has a velocity of 101 to 127, and that needs to be offset by 100 milliseconds. And we can just save that one as well. Okay, and I had to make one more in order for this to work on my system. This was to deal with the issue where the patch doesn't recognize legato transitions sometimes, and we'll just play that initial start sample, which doesn't work. So I'm essentially telling this and making a preset that will take all the notes, and we're just going to add some length to it. And you can use the ticks for this one in PPQ. I just put five ticks, just something to push it over a little bit so that the legato sections... Uh, actually overlap instead of just butt up against each other. All right, so now that we have all those created, we just need to build a macro. So we're going to close this out and go to our key commands menu. And we're going to show the macros and we're going to add a new one. And we'll just name it, you know, whatever that you want to find later. And then we just need to put in our user presets, not in a super specific order, uh, just so we can run the macro and it will run all three. It's under this folder, come down, and the legato can be in any direction. Uh, you can do medium, fast, long, long, medium, fast, whatever, it doesn't matter for those. And after we add those, we are going to have to add one of the preset ones here called legato. And, uh, once we add that, we can then put the nudge that uh, we made at the end of the chain. OK, 
Okay, so now that that is all set up, all you have to do is assign a key command or a uh, button to your tablet if you've got it set up like I do that way. And you just go into the key command section up to macro. And once you pull that down, you'll see it there. And you just add it in here. Uh, so we're gonna do Alt Shift L for now. Hit uh, assign and it is set up. So now we're gonna open up this in the piano roll. Take a look at it. I'm gonna control Z back so that we're back to the hard quantized state. And let's give it a playback with just the click. So pretty terrible, but we hit that, hit our new key command and beep, boop, beep. Voila, does that thing at the end, don't worry about that. Just pull it right back and play it. Oh my God, he worked. Okay, so you can also use this fix for the staccato offset. It's the same as the legato offset, and I've made one here, but you get rid of the velocity line because it's not dependent on that. Change this to 60 milliseconds and you're good to go. So I hope this is helpful. I'm sure it can be improved upon. Uh, have at it. Thank you for watching. I love you all.